Hi, in this video, I will be showing you problem number 12 of chapter 11, section 10. Find the Maclaurin series for f of x using the definition of Maclaurin series. Find the associated radius of convergence f of x equal to ln of 1 plus 5x. Maclaurin series is a special case of Taylor series uh, centered at 0. So, f of x equal to f of 0 plus f prime 0 over factorial 1 times x plus f double prime 0 over factorial 2 x square plus f triple prime 0 uh, 3 factorial x cube uh, divided by 3 factorial times x cube and so on. Um, so, here you notice that um, in the Taylor series if you plug in a equal to 0 then it becomes Maclaurin series. In order to determine the various derivatives of f um, at 0, we will create a table n, the first column is n which denotes the order of the derivative, then nth derivative of f at x and then nth derivative of f at 0. So, when n equal to 0, it is the function itself. So, ln of 1 plus 5x, it has to be evaluated at 0. So, plug in x equal to 0, that will be just ln 1 which will be a 0. Then in order to get the first derivative, so n equal to 1 here, that will be the first derivative. So, um, you have to apply the chain rule. So, it is outer derivative which is 1 over 1 plus 5x times the inner derivative which is derivative of 1 plus 5x which is a 5. Um, so now, we can substitute x equal to 0 here. So, it is 5 over 1. So, that is a 5. Then you write 5 times 1 plus 5x to the negative 1 so that the rest of the derivatives Will, will flow smoothly. So, it is easy to differentiate that way. Then each time you plug in x equal to 0 in the derivative and find out the value. So, I have shown the column here where the values are um, uh, goes into the place of f of 0, f prime 0, f double prime 0, f triple prime 0 and so on. I have shown up to the fifth derivative over here. If you plug in those values um, in, the, in the expression for f of x, we get f of 0, we found that to be 0, then f prime 0 over factorial 1, uh, factorial 1 equal to 1, f prime 0 equal to 5, so it is just 5x, then the second one would become 2 factorial, that is just 2, so 1 half, and then f double prime 0, f double prime 0 would be uh, negative 25, so 25 and then x square, so, that will be uh, 5x the whole square. So, 25 can be written as 5 square. Then, f, f triple prime 0, uh, which will be um, yeah, 250 over here. So, we get 250 over factorial 3, that will be a 6 times x cube. So, if you plug in those values successively, the terms will be alternatively positive and negative. So, we will get expression like 5x minus 5x the whole square over 2. Then we will get 5x the whole cube. So, 5 times 5 times 5 that will be 125. So, which we will be getting by um, reducing this. So, that will be um, 5x the whole cube over 3. Then the sign changes next term. So, it is negative 5x to the power 4 uh, over 4, then plus 5x to the power 5 over 5 and so on. So, it goes alternatively positive and negative like that starting off with a positive term. So, this can be written in a concise manner using sigma notation. Sigma n varying from 1 through infinity, negative 1 to the power n minus 1 because it starts off at positive, then we can write this as f5x to the power n over n. So, f of x, the Maclaurin series representation um, is what we have shown here. That is the first part of the problem. It is asking for the Maclaurin series representation. Then we are also asked, asked to find out the radius of convergence.
So in order to do the radius of convergence, um, we are going to apply the ratio test. The ratio test. So we are going to find out the limit as n approaching infinity absolute a n plus 1 over a n. Uh, if it turns out to be a number l and if l is less than 1, then the series would be convergent. The series is convergent. So that is what we are going to try to find out where it is convergent. Alright, so we are going to find out this ratio which is limit as n approaching infinity uh, absolute value 5x to the power n plus 1. We are ignoring the negative 1 to the power n minus 1 because when you take the absolute value whether it is a negative 1 or positive 1 absolute value is anyway going to be 1. So we are not interested in finding negative 1 to the power um, n plus 1 minus 1 and so on in order to determine a n plus 1 over a n. So we neglect that. So divided by n plus 1 n gets re then n gets replaced by n plus 1 then we are dividing by a n. So this expression gets switched. Uh, um, we are going to flip and multiply. So it is a n over 5 x to the power n. Then later we are going to allow n to approach infinity. So this will give us limit n approaching infinity of absolute a n plus 1 over a n would be um, this will be 5x to the power n plus 1 divided by 5x. So that will be just 5x. Then the other term is n over n plus 1. Of course, we are going to find out limit as n approaching infinity. So it is limit n approaches infinity. So this will be 5 times absolute x. Now this n over n plus 1, if I divide the numerator and the denominator by n, by n, we get n over n which is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus n over n which is 1. 1 over n. So as n approaching infinity this part is going to become 0 so the the expression is going to turn to be 1. So this whole thing uh, becomes 5 times absolute x. In order to be convergent this has to be less than 1. In other words absolute x would be less than 1 over 5. So that gives us the radius of convergence. So the radius of convergence in this case is 1 over 5. So first part is to write uh, this whole thing as a power series, Maclaurin series, uh, which is nothing but the Taylor series centered at 0. Then the second part is finding the radius of convergence, uh, which we did by using the ratio test. Hope this video helps.